What are the most fundamental laws of the universe? This is certainly something that's up for debate. The laws of logic and cause and effect are certainly near the top. But in the hierarchy of fundamentalism, there is one set of laws that cannot be excluded from the top tier. And that's the topic of today's video. Conservation laws. Conservation laws are, in my opinion, the most fundamental laws of the universe, at least from a physical perspective. But not all conservation laws are equally fundamental. In today's video, we won't be considering every conservation law, but we're going to investigate the most well-known of these laws and consider where they hold and where they fail us. We will go through these laws in roughly the order of how fundamental they are, beginning with the least fundamental and ending with the most fundamental laws, in my opinion. Conservation of Volume Flow Rate This concept is closely related to fluid dynamics, particularly to the continuity equation, which states that the volume flow rate, the product of the cross-sectional area and the flow velocity, remains constant along the streamline. However, this is a more specific application of the conservation of mass in fluid dynamics rather than a standalone fundamental law. One example of where this law is contested would be for compressible fluids, such as supercritical fluids, for example. Supercritical fluids are highly compressed fluids that combine the properties of both gases and liquids. Conservation of mass. In classical mechanics, this law states that mass cannot be created or destroyed in a closed system. This certainly seems like a fundamental law, but there are places where it does fail. For example, in quantum mechanics, there is a phenomenon known as pair annihilation, which describes the annihilation of matter by converting it to energy in accordance with the E equals mc squared equation. When a particle collides with its antimatter equivalent, they are both annihilated. Antimatter is exactly the same as matter, except with the opposite charge, with the most well-known of such interactions being the electron-positron collision, a principle which is central to technology like PET scans. Conservation of Information this is a more theoretical conservation law and pertains to quantum mechanics and the physics of black holes. It suggests that information is never lost in the universe. It's a principle tied to the unitarity of quantum mechanics. Unitarity is the condition that the time evolution of a quantum state of the time-dependent Schrodinger equation is mathematically representable by the unitary operator. It is typically taken to be an axiom of quantum mechanics and ensures that quantum states are preserved over time. This conservation law is challenged by the black hole information paradox. According to general relativity, information about matter that falls into a black hole seems to be lost once it crosses the event horizon, as the information cannot escape. However, quantum mechanics suggests that information should be conserved. However, this is still debated, and it does seem as though information can at least partially escape through phenomena like Hawking radiation, which could help resolve the paradox. Conservation of Momentum This is a fairly fundamental principle in physics, stating that the total linear momentum of a closed system remains constant. This is a consequence of Newton's first law, which states that 
An object at rest remains at rest, and an object in motion remains in motion at a constant speed and in a straight line unless acted on by an unbalanced force. In classical mechanics, this law is very fundamental. However, in relativistic contexts where speed approaches the speed of light, momentum must be considered in conjunction with energy and mass. While conservation still holds in these contexts, the definition and calculation of momentum change must be modified from our classical understanding. Additionally, in quantum mechanics, the concept of linear momentum conservation seems less fundamental due to quantum fluctuations and the uncertainty principle. Conservation of angular momentum. Much like linear momentum, this principle stands strong in classical mechanics and is the cornerstone of rotational dynamics. This principle states that the angular momentum of a system remains constant if it is not subject to external torques. Angular momentum is a measure of the quantity of rotation of an object and is conserved in a closed system. This seems to fail for quantum mechanical phenomena like quantum tunneling, which can lead to situations where angular momentum seems like it might not be conserved within localized regions. Nevertheless, the total angular momentum of the entire system when you include the environment remains conserved on average. Conservation of energy. This is not only perhaps the most fundamental conservation law, but one of the most fundamental laws of physics in general. The principle states that the total energy of an isolated system remains constant over time, which means that energy cannot be created nor destroyed, only transformed from one form to another. However, in quantum field theory, some small challenges arise, such as with quantum fluctuations in a vacuum. Conservation of probability. The conservation of probability is more of a mathematical conservation law that is also fundamental to quantum mechanics. This principle states that the total sum of the probability of all possible outcomes is equal to one. This is a fundamental aspect of quantum theory, ensuring the probabilities of all possible quantum events are consistent with each other. As a mathematical law, this is perhaps even more fundamental than any other conservation law, since it holds for not only physical phenomena, but also aphysical and metaphysical phenomena. The potential failure scenarios for this phenomena are all highly theoretical, such as with the previously mentioned black hole information paradox, or in the context of quantum gravity, where the conventional interpretation of probabilities may require some modification. While all of these conservation laws are fundamental and widely accepted, for good reason, their application can be a bit nuanced and context-dependent. Quantum mechanics, relativity, and extreme conditions like black holes challenge our understanding and application of these principles, often pushing the boundaries of our current theories. But what do you think? Are conservation laws the most fundamental laws of the universe? Is my order of how fundamental they are accurate? I think there are good arguments that could be made for ordering them differently in terms of how fundamental they are. Uh, for example, conservation of information could be potentially moved up, energy and probability could be flipped, etc. But I'm curious, how would you order them? If you have any thoughts, let me know in the comments. And remember to stay curious.